This is the second video that deals with designing and developing GUIs in MATLAB uh, without using the built-in guide tool. Um, this video deals with handles to objects and we're going to explain what handles are and then how those handles are used to modify and view the properties associated with objects. So let's start off by just creating uh, a basic GUI by just evaluating this code and that creates this GUI here which just has a, uh, an ellipse and a push button and you'll notice that when we created the push button for example using this UI control function as well as specifying or initializing the properties associated with the uh, button uh, the function UI control returns uh, a value and that value is known as the handle to the object so the UI control function returns a handle to the object uh, so let's just get used to the terminology first um, uh, so uh, down further here when I use the annotation function in MATLAB to create the ellipse uh, that you saw in the GUI uh, the annotation function also returns a handle to the ellipse object on your GUI okay um, now to understand what these handles are used for, it's best just to show you them in action. So if I'll just go into the command window and we, if I want to view the properties associated with the ellipse, I can use a function called get in MATLAB. And the get function requires you to provide a, a handle to an object. So if I provide the handle that we created called uh, ellipse underscore h and um, that that will allow us to view the property so when I hit return you'll see a big list of properties associated with that ellipse object now it's important to note that the name doesn't matter I use the ellipse dot underscore h underscore h to represent handle could be any variable name but this list is a list of all the properties associated with that object. Uh, some are obvious, for example the face colour. Uh, face colour is controlled by three numbers. Uh, the numbers are the RGB colours, so red, green and blue. So um, this basically means that the face colour is all red and no green or blue and we can see that there that's it's red the line width controls the width of the line that's going around the ellipse um, so a lot of the other properties won't be obvious until you get into uh, uh, a lot of detail with designing some complex GUIs but the basic ones are fairly obvious so we have the position as well uh, now when you're creating these objects you can initialize uh, some of the properties so that's what's done here when we set the face color to being 100 zero, zero initially, we were initializing the face color to being red. Now we can also change the properties associated with objects by uh, using a function in MATLAB called set. And set works in the following way uh, you provide the handle to the object that you want to change. So uh, ellipse underscore h is the object that I want to change. And let's say I want to change the face color you specify the property name and then the value of the property that you want to, to change it to so let's change that to uh, being blue and when I hit return you'll see that the uh, property is uh, or sorry the object is now blue okay um, you can change uh, a number of properties at w in one go so um, let's just change the face color and the line width and all I'm doing is whenever you're using the set command provide the property name and the property value in pairs so the line width I will now set to being uh, 3 okay when I hit return you can see that that properties associated with that object have been updated uh, so we get a green uh, ellipse with a dark uh, uh, line around the edge of it um, now all the properties are sorry rather all objects will have cer certain properties associated with it um, so I could also view the properties associated with the button which we uh, label the handle as being bot underscore h uh, and this will give me all the properties associated, associated with the button and you can see they are different but there are some common ones as well like position 
Um, the string, for example, uh, controls uh, what's displayed on top of the button. So update color is displayed there. Um, now you can also, just so you're aware, you can get individual properties. So if I wanted to, for example, get the position of the button object. So get but h underscore and we'll get position. Specify the property name as a string. Um, that will give us the position. So if I wanted to th then update the position, so let's just set the but h um, position and I'll set it to the current position maybe I'll, I'll add um, a value of 0 0.5 to uh, all of the position values so this will become 0.8 so we'll be well in from the left our, our button will be put positioned over to the right uh, It'll be halfway up because this zero value will become 0 0.5. It'll also have a height, it'll be quite a large button. In fact, we won't be able to see the entire button on the screen. So this will make a bit of a disaster of the button, but it should work. So we can see this is actually the button up here um, because I've changed the position using that piece of code. Uh, and maybe I'll change it back a little bit by putting it back to point 0.1 and we can see this just moved over a little bit. So this is really key uh, to working with GUIs because with GUIs you have all these objects on your GUI and you really want to be able to manipulate the uh, properties associated with those objects. Um, and if you understand that concept um, I think it's just you can move on but I might just do a couple more examples um, of things that I think are commonly done but if you've got the, the key concept you can just move on to the next video that deals with uh, callback functions uh, but I'd, I'd like to just demonstrate a couple of things uh, for example I could create a, a plot and people do this quite frequently so a plot um, some uh, uh, a line to uh, to a figure and or plot some data to a figure. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return a handle. Normally I just hit return at this stage but I'm just going to uh, create a handle called p underscore h. Again I can call it whatever I want. Now I have a handle to the plot. Okay, And there's my plot showing up on my figure. Now I'm not uh, doing anything useful in, in particular but I really just want to show you how to create a plot and how you can manipulate the properties associated with that plot uh, easily once you have it uh, once you have a handle to the plot. So my handle is ph and if I get uh, p underscore h I can see the properties associated with that plot. Uh, the things that I find useful are things like y data okay and for example maybe the line width and the line style um, so I can then change those properties on the fly so for example if I want to update the y data let's just make a copy of the original I can just do set p underscore h um, y data and I'll change it to being minus minus like that and that will update the data that's been uh, plotted. Now in addition to uh, plots you can also change the position of the, um, the axis so I, if I want to get the axis associated with that plot um, there is um, a, a command called GCA which means get current access. So I'm going to create a handle to the current axis just by saying AX underscore H equals GCA and again this variable name can be whatever you want um, but now I can get properties of the handle, uh, uh, handle to the axis and I have things like um, visibility I have things like uh, what do I want to change? I really want to change the position. Is one thing I'd I, I 
that is frequently changed. So there is the position. Okay, and we can see the 0 0.3, 0 0.13, 0 0.11 means its starting point is in the bottom left, and then this is the width and the height. So let's change the position because I use plots a lot in GUIs, and let's put the plot up in the top right corner. So what I'm going to do is set ax underscore h, and I'm going to set the position to being. Um, <coughs> Let's see, we'll put it in the top right, so that'll be 0 0.5, I'll do 0 0.6, 0 0.6 will be the top right, that's coordinates, and then we'll make it 0 0.3 and 0 0.3, well 0 0.4, that's fine. Um, and that should move the plot up into the top right corner. Um, so then I can add more plots if I want um, in a similar fashion, but again, once you get your head around what handles are and how you can manipulate them using the set uh, function in MATLAB and also get their current values by using the get function in MATLAB, you're opening the door to doing uh, lots of creative things with GUIs. Okay, so at this stage you should be kind of ready for the last video which deals with um, callback functions, uh, which is probably the trickiest thing to get your head around, but uh, I'll see you in the next video.